good. How are you guys? How are you doing? Good. Congrats after last year. Thank you. Champion. How does it feel to be coming into the season as the champion? Um, it was great, but I also know that this is a new year. You know, just uh, like with my wrestling career, even in high school, winning my state title as a freshman. When I went into my sophomore year, I knew that the target was on my back, and I had to, I had to keep elevating my game. And I was lucky enough to have you know four state titles in high school because of that. And it's just that you got to have that click in your head that last year doesn't matter you know same thing with pro football basketball whatever it is just because you were the, the champs from the year before doesn't mean you're going to be the champ this year you got to put in that work you got to know that people are coming after you even harder just because you were the champ people are trying to knock you off so that's uh it was good to be the champ in 2018 but it's a whole different it's a whole different focus this year we got different guys at the weight class we have you know some of the same but a different you know different guys coming in the the eight man um postseason can be completely different this year so you can't look at it as the same as last year a lot has changed so um, a lot of it is in some funds, some accounts. Um, the only thing I really did, I mean, I bought a watch and bought a car for myself, but I didn't, you know, I didn't put any money in the, into the car at all. So I, did, I was just really smart about what I did as far as actually spending the liquid. So most of it's still, most of it's still with me, which is... I mean, we don't get retirement in this sport, so <laughs> got to kind of be smart about it, even though, you know, you want to splurge and do something nice, and obviously I deserved it because I I put myself on the line every fight throughout last year and, and came out on top, so it was one of those things where, you know, the wife was okay with it, I, I refinanced our house, did some... I had to do some some smart things with it, and then I was able to splurge a little bit, you know. So, but nothing crazy. Like I, I didn't go out and do anything wild. I mean, the car that I bought, I didn't. I wanted to get. I originally wanted a Lamborghini, but the wife <laughs> shut me down on that. So, you know, maybe after this year, because then she won't really have anything to say about it. <laughs> We're in year two of PFL now. Um, this point system is obviously very unique to the sport. You know, how did you think it played out last year with guys' strategies coming into these? Uh, early fights you got bonus points in both of your regular season fights um was it part of your strategy and will it continue to be or it not continue to be this year or do you just go out and fight yeah definitely i always go into my fights looking for a finish and the finishes didn't accumulate in the postseason but the guys that i fought also in the postseason were tough guys and there were guys like andre harrison he's a tough opponent he was undefeated we already had a fight before that in 2017 so going into that fight, I knew it was going to be tough to get a finish. I mean, getting the win was is what each of us wanted. So, uh, and then Siler's a guy who's dangerous all over the place. He's he's dangerous in every fight, like we saw in the early fights where he got hurt and then got finishes. So, you can't just go in there recklessly and try and get a finish, even though that's what you want. But the first two fights of the season last year. Um, that was my goal, try and get bonus points, set yourself up for the, for the bracket system. But also, you know, we could argue that we had the tougher side of the bracket last year. So it doesn't always, it doesn't always really matter where you're at on the bracket. You still got to beat the guys to get to the final. You said you had a target on your back and uh, always working on things. Anything you add to your camp or add to training? Um, this season, I started working with uh, Frankie Edgar, Marlon Marias, and Eddie Alvarez, and Coach Mark Henry. So that was just that was one of the main things, just to uh, to add to my game and switch it up a little bit. And uh, it's been great. And I'm glad that they invited me to be part of their team. And cool. so that's uh, that was the main thing that I yeah. made a change of. Thank you. What are your thoughts on the featherweight roster this year compared to last season? It's great. Um, there's everybody's tough. Just like last year, I felt that there was there wasn't really any weak points in it. It was just that some guys were more well known than other guys, and and some guys perform better than other guys. But I feel like this year we have. I mean, we bring back four of the top guys from last year, plus we have a lot of tough guys from other organizations who've come in. So um, 45 and 55 are always going to be, in my opinion, the most competitive weight classes in MMA just because of the size of the average human being and, and where athletes sit on that, you know, in those weight classes. But um, I think it's, it's very competitive. And that's what's fun about it. <laughs> so when you're the best of that division, you're truly the best because 
you know that everybody in here is is looking to go out and get it done. How do you expect things to play out tomorrow? I'm looking to get a finish. Um, I never really try to. I never really try to create a fight in my head because then if it doesn't go that way, a lot of guys are like. Oh, they have no adaptation abilities, you know. I like to let the fight play out, get to where we need to be. If something isn't working in the fight, we can switch it up throughout the fight as it goes on. But I'm looking to get a finish, whether it's striking or on the ground. I mean, people can say whatever they want when it comes to, you know, going into the fight and they can talk crap or they can say whatever on a video. But when you're face to face and, and you have to fight the guy, then, you know, we'll see what happens. Lance, would you like explain your tattoos a little bit? Like talk about any meaning yeah. behind them? Um, so this one here is uh, doesn't have to do with Leo. Everybody always asks me that. <laughs> I'm not a Leo, but this is uh, the lions. Obviously, the king of the jungle. So I wanted to get that one. I've always loved lions. We've trained exotic animals since I was a little kid. So I've been around lions, bears, wolves, tigers since I was a baby, and uh, that's what my dad did for a living for about 25 years. So a lion was always just the most like. To me, just like the the king, the leader, like they're they're the most ferocious, but they're just still like it's majestic. They're just like the most beautiful animal too. And then the uh, the crown was for my grandfather who had passed. And the reason it's purple is because of the crown royal. That was his favorite thing, and it comes in the little uh, like the little bag. Yeah, so the bag's purple. So instead of red, I did the purple on that. And purple is also royalty, so I felt like it went well with the lion. And then uh, this one, I wanted to do more of a nautical theme. And the, uh, the ship is always, you know, the ship goes through the ups and downs. And life is about a roller coaster of ups and downs. And, um, you know, they always say that, uh, you know, a ship that's docked has never been tested, right? Like the ship at sea is the one that tests the ups and downs of, you know, what they're going through and everything else. So I think uh, that was the main reason for getting the ship. And I wanted a, you know, a uh, more traditional look on it. And then I got Poseidon, who's the uh, the god of sea. So um, it's still not finished yet. So hopefully after this fight, I can get out and get it touched up. But with the uh, the trident and stuff like that, and I'm gonna add some other things in there. But it was, uh, you know, I, I like to have meaning to all my tattoos, and so I, I try not to. I try not to just go on a whim and get a tattoo, so that's kind of why I plan it out a little bit. Sometimes it's a little over-planned, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> awesome. Any uh, challenges your opponent present to you at all? Yeah, definitely. I mean, everybody I fight, I feel they all have something that, that they bring to the table or else they wouldn't be here. So I think that, you know, he only has one loss uh, going into this fight, and he's a guy who's, I feel like he's a version of me from maybe five years ago when I was just getting to that point in my career where I was starting to fight higher level guys. So I feel like I have that advantage where my game is elevated compared to his, but we have similar body types. Everybody was talking about body types, similarities. Uh, he's a wrestler, I'm a wrestler, but there's levels to the game. So that's it. Awesome, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.